We can also challenge the student through changing snow conditions. We can change it from the normal to the heavy or to the icy conditions. And that's going to make that student change the movement patterns, the intensity of the movement patterns, the timing, or even the duration. This is going to be great for them in real life situations when they're out on the snow. We can change even the micro relief and have the student go into some small bumps, big bumps, crust, heavy crust. This gives them a new challenge of what real snowboarding is like out on the snow. It's a great opportunity for them to have to react to different snow conditions as they progress and as they develop in their snowboarding. Feel free to play with this and adjust these settings, giving your snowboarder a few turns to adapt to those settings and see what happens. If you've added in some bumps or some crud, they're gonna feel that chatter under the board. This really is what it feels like when we hit ice on a snowboard. The board edge doesn't hold all the time. And this simulator is able to create that feeling for our snowboarders and help prepare them for when they're out on snow. Finally, we're ready to introduce gates. Gates are kind of one of the final applications we're gonna use on the simulator. With the gates, we have an indicator on screen that's gonna tell the snowboarder when they need to make turns, how fast they need to make that turn, how intense the turn should be, and how large they need to make the turn around the gates. This is different than everything else we've done where it's been totally up to the snowboarder as to when they wanna make that turn. It's a really cool way to challenge the snowboarder and you can continue to increase that challenge by setting the distance of the gates and how close the gates are together. Putting in GS gates, making bigger, more open turns, putting in some slalom gates, tighter turns, even doing your own setup of gates where there's not a pattern. So they might have to make a couple big turns, a couple small turns, tight turns, closed turns, open turns. That gives the student the ability to explore those movement patterns when they have to do it, not when they want to do it. And that's key when you get out onto the snow. Training your snowboarder to ride switch is another great way to challenge their adaptability and versatility. As you can see here, Josh is a goofy snowboarder, but we've set up the board with a regular stance. So Josh is now snowboarding switch. We're gonna go through that same basic progression. Right now, Josh has both hands on the bar, and he's just getting a feel for moving from heel side to toe side and back. Really getting a, getting a hang of what it's like to ride with that left foot forward instead of his normal right foot forward. And after he's made a few turns, he's starting to look pretty comfortable. He's gonna start taking that front hand off the bar. How you doing there? Doing good, Coach. Doing good. All right. This is a great way to start to develop those skills. And uh, when we go out on snow, being able to ride in both directions is a really important skill to have. Just like in our forward direction, we can go from most extended to most flex. So Josh is going to go ahead and go back to that both hands on the bar position and start practicing that most flexed at edge change movement pattern. And again, what's nice here is they've already learned the movement pattern. So we're just reminding them of what we did the last time. And as Josh gets comfortable with that movement pattern, same thing, he's gonna take that back hand off the bar. And then as he's comfortable with that movement pattern, in one hand, he's gonna start taking that front hand off the bar as well. There we go, Josh is now riding with the most flexed at edge change of movement pattern in a switch stance.